Unleashing your future capabilities. Mastering will be able to in English. Hello learners. Today, we're embarking on a very important journey towards mastering English grammar, specifically in the area of expressing future abilities. We will focus on the phrase, will be able to, which is a crucial tool for expressing something that you or someone else will have the capacity or skill to do in the future. Let's start by understanding what will be able to really means. This phrase is used to express a potential ability or a possibility in the future. This is a kind of future modal verb phrase that helps us talk about things that haven't happened yet, but we believe or hope will happen. Here is a simple example. I will be able to finish this book by next week. In this sentence, we're expressing a future ability or possibility that I can finish reading the book by the next week. The phrase will be able to follows a simple structure. Subject plus will be plus able to plus base form of the verb. For instance, she will be able to drive once she gets her license. In this sentence, she is the subject will be able to is our future ability phrase and drive is the base form of the verb. Just like other modal verb phrases, will be able to can be used in different types of sentences, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. 1. Affirmative. You will be able to understand the lesson after studying. 2. Negative. You will not be able to attend the concert if you don't buy a ticket. 3. Interrogative. Will you be able to help me with this task? As you can see, the phrase, will be able to, can be flexible and versatile in expressing future capabilities. Great job making it to the end. We hope that you will be able to use this important grammar tool more confidently in your future English conversations. Keep practicing, stay positive, and remember that learning English is a journey. You're doing amazing, and we're here to support you all the way. Happy learning!